I'm Hannah Orden. I'm the rabbi at Congregation Beth HaTikva in Summit, New Jersey. We are almost a week into the month of Elul, which is the Hebrew month that leads up to Rosh Hashanah. And it's a month that we're supposed to spend some time reflecting and thinking about our lives and doing a little soul searching and always looking for new ways to do that. So this year I've come up with something that I'm really excited about. I'm reading a book called The Book of Delights. It's by Ross Gay. He's a poet and a community activist. And he set himself um, the challenge of writing an, a short essay every day for a year about something that delights him. And I love this because delight, it's not a delightful word. It's not the same thing as enjoying something or something good that happens. Um, delight is something that makes you go, wow. So I decided to borrow his idea and use it for a lul. So every day during a lul, I am thinking, thinking of something that delights me and posting it on my Facebook page and asking other people to, uh, to, to share what delights you. So I want to just share one of my delights from this week. And it was on Wednesday and we were having a training for a new program that we're starting for preschool children. It's called Five Senses of Judaism. And in the morning we had uh, the training for the, for the volunteers. And the, the person who started the program uh, she read us a book and the book was called I Am Not a Box and each page of the book you see a little, little creature um, with a box and you know on the one side an unknown voice says what are you doing with that box and um, and the, you know and the creature says this is not a box and then the next page you see that the box has turned into a spaceship or a boat or a house and it's all about imagination and what you can do with a simple box. So that was a great story. And then she gave each of us a paper bag. And inside the paper bag was a wooden clothespin, two pipe cleaners, a straw, and a few popsicle sticks. And with those things, we had to make some kind of Jewish ritual object. So we all had a really good time. We kept, you know, our things kept falling apart and we were laughing and, um, and I realized that we don't play enough. Even children these days don't play enough. They're, you know, except on their screens of various kinds. And that kind of creative play is really the basis of this whole program that we're starting, the Five Senses of Judaism. And, and so it was just great to see not only children playing, but adults doing creative play. So I thought that was delightful. And if you're coming to services tonight, I'm going to ask people for what has delighted them, so try to think of something that delighted you. And if you can't come to services tonight, um, put your delights in the comments underneath, and I, I will be delighted to hear what delights you.